Joan Entre is a wonderful man. He's a poet, artist. He even founded a theater in Philadelphia. Isn't that simply incredible? He was always entertaining women with his many talents, the charmer. Often, he would come to my house and share stories of his travels and the rest of his life. Other times, we would go out to plays and dances. Oh, the parties Sean would throw and the plays he would put on. He is such a marvelous planner. But eventually, the British were evacuating Philadelphia and John had to go with them. He did leave me with a lock of his hair though. Oh, of course. Well, when the British soldiers left, they were replaced with the American army. In charge as military governor of Philadelphia was the well-dressed Benedict Arnold. We met at a ball in July of 1778. As he was sustaining an injury, he could not mingle freely with the other guests or dance, so when a friend of his informed me that he would like to meet me, I obliged. I am very glad that I did. He is such a brave man, especially with all of the scrutiny he faced. After we met, he sent me the most beautiful bouquet I have ever seen. We soon started spending more and more time together. Whenever he was away from Philadelphia, he would write letters to me and express how much he missed me. Someone joked that he must be smitten and it was proven to be true when I received a love letter. It was a sweet sentiment, but at first my father did not approve of Benedict. Eventually he conceded when he saw just how much Benedict was willing to do and how much money he was willing to spend just to be allowed to be with me. I was soon his closest and most trusted confidant, and on April 8th, 1779, we were married in my father's mansion. Now that I was always with him, I could see how he was stressed over one thing or another and how temperamental that could make him. Perhaps the war was finally becoming too much for him.